Hello everyone, welcome to History in Motion and today we are examining how advanced the Egyptians were and why we cannot replicate the pyramids. The pyramids of Egypt rise from the desert, their geometry a testament to a vanished civilization. For millennia they have inspired awe and endless questions. How did a society without modern machinery construct such monumental structures? The pyramids are more than tombs, they are statements of human potential and organization. Gazing at the Great Pyramid we see not just stones but a feat of engineering and logistics. The effort involved is almost unimaginable today, a national project that mobilized an entire population. These monuments force us to reconsider our assumptions about the ancient world's sophistication. Many aspects of their construction remain debated, fueling both scientific theories and wild speculation. The pyramids challenge us to explain how ancient people, with primitive tools, achieved what would still be monumental today. This essay will explore the real challenges that prevent us from easily replicating the Great Pyramid. We'll examine the engineering, logistics, and organization behind their creation. By understanding the difficulties they overcame, we gain a deeper appreciation for their achievement. The Great Pyramid of Khufu stands as a testament to human ingenuity and ambition. It's a structure so immense, so precisely built, that it continues to inspire awe and wonder even today. The Great Pyramid is defined by staggering statistics. Originally 146.6 meters tall, a height that would have dominated the ancient skyline. For nearly four millennia, it reigned supreme as the tallest man-made structure in the world, a record that speaks volumes about the capabilities of its builders. Its base covers 13 acres, an area large enough to house several football fields. The pyramid's construction involved the placement of around 2.3 million stone blocks, each meticulously shaped and positioned. These blocks range from small pieces, used to fill gaps and create a smooth surface, to granite beams weighing up to 80 tons, a testament to the incredible logistical challenges faced by the ancient Egyptians. In total the pyramid's total weight is nearly 6 million tons, a figure that underscores the sheer scale of this monumental undertaking. Its precision is as impressive as its scale, the base is level within a few centimeters, a feat of engineering that would be remarkable even by today's standards, and each side is almost perfectly aligned to the cardinal points, demonstrating a sophisticated understanding of astronomy and surveying. This alignment reflects the Egyptians' deep connection to cosmology, their belief in the power of the stars, and their influence on the earthly realm. Inside, the Grand Gallery and King's Chamber showcase advanced engineering, with granite blocks transported from Aswan, a staggering 800 kilometers away, highlighting the organizational prowess of the ancient Egyptians. Above the King's Chamber, massive granite beams distribute weight, preventing collapse and ensuring the structural integrity of the pyramid for millennia to come. The exterior was once covered in polished white limestone, creating a smooth reflective surface that would have gleamed brilliantly in the Egyptian sun. The casing stones were fitted so precisely that a knife blade couldn't fit between stones, a testament to the incredible skill of the ancient stonemasons. Sadly most casing stones are gone, lost to time and repurposed for other construction projects. But a few remain, offering a tantalizing glimpse of the pyramid's original brilliance and splendor. The Great Pyramid was not just a pile of blocks, it was a polished, geometrically perfect monument, a symbol of the power and sophistication of ancient Egyptian civilization. Its construction required not only brute force, the immense physical labor of thousands of workers, but also extraordinary craftsmanship, the meticulous skill of stonemasons, engineers, and architects. These numbers and details only begin to reveal the pyramid's true complexity, a complexity that continues to fascinate and challenge researchers to this day. Sourcing stone in the quantities needed for the pyramids was the first major challenge. It was a logistical puzzle of immense proportions, demanding careful planning and execution. Most of the limestone, the primary building material, came from the Giza Plateau itself, providing a relatively local source. But quarrying millions of blocks, each weighing several tons, with relatively primitive copper tools and incredibly hard dolerite pounders, was a colossal task that required immense patience and skill. Workers used the ingenious method of inserting dry wooden wedges into pre-cut grooves, then saturating them with water to split the stone, then drag the massive blocks on sledges, a technique depicted in numerous ancient illustrations. They sometimes poured water on the sand in the sledge's path to reduce friction, making the immense weight slightly easier to manage. 
Even with these clever tricks, moving each two and a half ton block required large, well-coordinated teams of workers pulling in unison. Special stones like the fine white Tura limestone used for the outer casing had to be ferried across the Nile River from the quarries on the opposite bank. Once across, they were hauled up to the Giza Plateau, adding another layer of complexity to the transport. The granite blocks, some weighing up to 80 tons used for the King's Chamber and other key features, came from Aswan, hundreds of miles to the south, upriver along the Nile, requiring a long and perilous journey by river transport, fraught with potential hazards. Once at Giza, the blocks had to be moved up the ever-growing pyramid structure itself, most likely using ramps constructed of mud, brick, and stone. The exact ramp design and configuration is still debated by archaeologists and historians, but any system would have required a continuous, highly organized flow of both raw materials and a vast, disciplined labor force. Every single step, from the initial quarrying to the final placement at the pyramid's summit, was a crucial link in a complex logistical chain. A single failure or delay at any point could halt the entire project, causing significant setbacks. The sheer scale of coordination and the immense manpower required is truly staggering to contemplate. The Egyptians' remarkable ability to effectively manage this incredibly complex process remains one of history's greatest engineering and organizational achievements. The logistics involved in building the pyramids would present a significant challenge even to modern builders equipped with today's advanced technology and heavy machinery. Lifting stones into place was perhaps the greatest challenge. The most accepted theory is the use of ramps, but their exact design remains a mystery. A straight ramp would have been massive and impractical, little evidence supports its existence. Spiral ramps around the pyramid would have made surveying and maneuvering blocks difficult. An internal ramp theory suggests a corkscrewing path within the pyramid, supported by some modern scans. Each method presents unique problems, and no definitive evidence has settled the debate. Regardless of the ramp type, the system had to deliver a steady stream of blocks to ever-increasing heights. Precision and safety were paramount. The ramp dilemma highlights the Egyptians' ingenuity and adaptability, their solutions whatever they were, enabled the construction of one of history's greatest monuments. The mystery endures, fueling ongoing research and fascination. Beyond the sheer scale and the immense physical effort involved, the Great Pyramid demanded astonishing precision, a level of accuracy that seems almost impossible to achieve with the tools available at the time. Its base is nearly a perfect square, a testament to the builder's meticulous planning and execution. Each side is remarkably uniform, with differences of less than 20 centimeters between them, a feat that speaks volumes about their surveying skills. The foundation upon which this colossal structure rests was leveled with remarkable care, ensuring stability for millennia to come. The ancient Egyptians likely employed water-filled trenches to achieve this perfect level, a simple yet ingenious technique. The pyramid's faces are aligned almost perfectly with incredible accuracy to the cardinal directions, demonstrating a deep understanding of spatial orientation. This feat suggests advanced astronomical knowledge far beyond what we might expect from this period. Egyptians probably used stars like those in the Big Dipper to find true north, guiding their construction with celestial precision. This alignment wasn't just practical, it was deeply symbolic, linking the monument to their religious beliefs and the cosmos. The pyramid was seen as a resurrection machine, a gateway to the afterlife for the pharaoh. Its precise alignment and the presence of star shafts were designed to connect the pharaoh's spirit to the heavens, ensuring his eternal journey. The casing stones which once covered the pyramid were fitted with joints less than half a millimeter wide, an almost unbelievable level of accuracy. This required painstaking craftsmanship and an unwavering commitment to perfection. Achieving such perfection without the aid of modern tools is truly extraordinary, a testament to human ingenuity and skill. Every detail from the carefully laid foundation to the precisely angled casing stones at the peak reflects a mindset where perfection was not just a goal, but a religious necessity, a way to honor the gods and ensure the pharaoh's successful passage to the afterlife. The cosmic connection gave the pyramid sacred meaning, imbuing it with a power that transcended its physical form. This sacred purpose demanded absolute accuracy in every aspect of its construction. This remarkable blend of science with its precise measurements and geometric calculations, religion, 
with its deep-seated beliefs about the afterlife and the cosmos and artistry evident in the beautiful stonework and intricate designs sets the pyramids apart as truly unique achievements. Their construction was as much about expressing profound religious belief as it was about applying engineering principles. The result is a monument that endures both physically, standing tall against the sands of time, and symbolically, as a testament to the power of human ingenuity and faith. Building the Great Pyramid was a triumph of organization as much as engineering. Contrary to popular myth, the builders were skilled Egyptian laborers, not slaves. Archaeological evidence shows they were well-fed, cared for, and honored in death. The workforce included a core of craftsmen and a rotating crew of seasonal laborers, likely farmers working during the Nile's flood. Estimates suggest a peak workforce of 20,000 to 30,000, still a city-sized population. Massive bakeries and breweries fed the workers, and a protein-rich diet was provided. Managing supplies, tools, and rations required a highly efficient bureaucracy. Scribes kept detailed records ensuring smooth operation. The project was broken into teams, fostering competition and camaraderie. The ability to mobilize and manage such a vast enterprise is as impressive as the pyramid itself. It was a national effort, uniting Egypt under a shared vision. With modern technology we could build a pyramid shape but replicating the original process and precision would be daunting, the cost alone would be staggering. Estimates run into billions, not counting traditional quarrying and transport. Modern machinery could cut and move stone but the sheer volume would overwhelm today's quarries and logistics. Transporting millions of blocks would require massive infrastructure and have a huge environmental impact. Achieving the original's precision, especially the perfect fit of casing stones, would be time-consuming and expensive. Modern construction relies on mortar, while the Egyptians achieved near-perfect joinery. Most challenging of all, we lack the collective purpose and motivation that drove the ancient Egyptians. Their religious and national unity made the project possible. Today, such a commitment is hard to imagine. We have the tools, but not the will or the mindset. Despite our technological advancements, building the pyramids today would be nearly impossible. Modern construction relies on machinery, but the sheer scale, precision, and organization required would overwhelm even the most advanced companies. The cost would be astronomical, and finding a workforce with the same unity and purpose as ancient Egypt would be unthinkable. Environmental regulations, logistical challenges, and a lack of collective motivation would all stand in the way. The pyramids are not just monuments of stone, but of human willpower and unity, something we struggle to replicate in the modern world. The mystery of pyramid construction has led to theories of lost knowledge. The Egyptians' practical engineering skills were likely passed down through generations not written in manuals. Some techniques, like hardening copper tools or moving massive granite beams, remain debated. Unconventional ideas such as casting blocks in place have been proposed but lack strong evidence. The real lost knowledge may be the Egyptians' mindset, patience, dedication, and generational thinking. Their ability to organize, manage, and perfect such a project is a skill we struggle to replicate. The pyramid secrets are not just technical, but cultural and psychological. Their legacy is a reminder of what focused human effort can achieve. The pyramids of Giza have stood for over 4,500 years, their power to inspire undiminished. They are the last of the seven wonders, a link to a past that still challenges us. Their construction is a complex interplay of scale, precision, logistics, and purpose. The engineering, craftsmanship, and organization required are almost beyond belief. The enduring mystery keeps them alive as puzzles for each new generation. They remind us that some ancient achievements remain unmatched. The pyramids were built by people who pushed the limits of their knowledge and ability. They challenge our assumptions about progress and greatness. The Great Pyramid is more than a monument. It is a question cast in stone, asking us what humanity can achieve. As long as they stand, they will inspire wonder and debate, symbols of our timeless quest to build for eternity.